Persona 4 for the PlayStation 2. Are we ready for this? Are we ready? Let's check config. Vibration on, voice on, auto advance, auto scroll text during voiced events. No, I want to do it on my own. Cursor memory on, remember the cursor position during battle. Uh, no and no. That's my own personal per camera reverse. Why would I want that? Okay, checking, getting the settings that I had before. Interesting title screen compared to the last one. Anyway, new game. Are we ready for this? A new Persona adventure. Like, right away. Before you begin the story, choose a difficulty level in battle. I see normal. This saying is intended for experienced gamers. You'll be able to enjoy the normal challenge of battle, which requires a certain degree of strategy. Once you have begun, this setting cannot, cannot be changed without restarting the game. Continue? Yes, of course. Just like last time. Now, please sit back and enjoy the game. Now, before I start, let's just say that now that I have played Persona 3, I am definitely going to have experience with the uh, Persona in general. Though mechanics have probably changed, I'm assuming the basics are similar. Which means that there will be less learning at the beginning and more getting used to things. This is a freshly opened copy of Persona 4. It was sealed when I bought it. So, enjoy me playing as... You don't even care, actually. It, though it was sealed. I bought it. It was like 39 bucks or something. Anyway. Let's get going. And this game is not intended for anyone. If you get the reference. Of course we open with cutscenes, I'm not uh, surprised at all. What I do know, however, is that this game involves TV. Consider what we saw in the intro, and I have read the back of the box. If you watch TV at midnight or something, people die. No, I know there's more to it, I'm just giving the stupid explanation a quick one. So far we have a gigantic car. With some woman in it. Uh-oh, wait, Igor? Uh-oh, the velvet room's back, which I know that much, obviously. Igor's been in every Persona game since the Welcome beginning. to the velvet room. Well, apparently the Velvet Room's a card this time around. And we were introduced to him earlier. I guess they assumed in Persona 3 that people may not have played a... Wow, we're already in the Velvet Room, apparently. Ah, it seems we have a guest with an intriguing destiny. <laughs> My name is Igor. I am delighted to make your acquaintance. This place exists between dream and reality, mind and matter. It is a room that only those who are bound by a contract may enter. It may be that such a fate awaits you in the near future. Are you talking to me or the protagonist? Like me the player or me the protagonist? I'm not really sure at this point. Now then, why don't you introduce yourself? Do I name my character now? Yes, I do. Now, I have been given the canon name, so I will name it as so. I was not told in the first game, so I went with a very generic name. So, I wrote it down here from a co from one of the comments, so let me just type it in. Nah... Ru... Uh... Uh... K... Naru... No, Naru... Uh... Nah, Yeah. Uh, m me. And his first name is actually easy. You. Let me just verify. Narukami, you. You, Narukami. Alright. Let us end. Proceed. Yes. Alright, I have a canon name this time around. Makes it happier? I don't know. Hmm, I see. I also see that there's another woman other than Elizabeth this time. I wonder who she is. Now, let's take a look into your future, shall we? 
And he's in a limousine this time for some reason. He's gotten fancier. With drinks on the side. Do you believe in fortune telling? Each reading is done with the same cards, yet the result is always different. <laughs> Life itself follows the same principles, doesn't it? Hmm. The tower in the upright position represents the immediate future. It seems a terrible catastrophe is imminent. The card indicating the future beyond that is... The moon in the upright position. This card represents hesitation and mystery. Very interesting indeed. It seems you will encounter a misfortune at your destination, and a great mystery will be imposed upon you. In the coming days, you will enter into a contract of some sort, after which you will return here. The coming year is a turning point in your destiny. If the mystery goes unsolved, your future may be forever lost. My duty is to provide assistance to our guests to ensure that does not happen. Ah, I have neglected to introduce my assistant to you. This is Margaret. She is a resident of this place, like myself. Oh, this is a new mistress. This time it's Margaret. My name is Margaret. I am here to accompany you through your journey. She doesn't seem she's gonna be as fun as Elizabeth, but I could be wrong. Fun in the fact that Elizabeth decided to go out and have fun with me. We shall attend to the details another time. Until then, farewell. Well, there is no Ryuji this time to... Uh, look, we start with Bikini right away. Judging from the opening, I'm assuming she's some sort of idol, which is some sort of Japanese star who poses for pictures and sings and stuff. Tired of diets. Enough with going to the gym. Good thing there's something even I can handle. <laughs> and does ads. Slim down this summer with the refreshing taste of calorie magic. And... We're back. Now on to some juicy news. The Mayumi Yamano scandal. I'm sure everyone is... <laughs> yeah, first he bags a singer, then he has an affair with a TV announcer on his side. Do chicks really dig politicians? Isn't it just stuff like money and connections? When you get it sounded like Yukari. political cloud is what matters. Hey, what is that supposed to mean? Somebody tells me there's gonna be voice actors and actresses reused in here. Probably. Atlas probably has a certain roster they go for. Except this guy, he's gonna be silent. He's you. I know that from the box. Well, I'm sure that you all know already, but at the end of this month, he will be transferring to another school. Quiet down, guys. I'm not done yet. Another transfer student. I always have to be one. But apparently, we see him in his previous school, actually. Meet us outside. At the Yasukami terminal in a few minutes. Passengers headed for Inaba City and Yaso Inaba Station. Please go to the other side of the platform. The scandal involves the Enka star Misuzu Hiragi preparing to tour overseas. Taro Namatame, a council secretary in the Inaba region, whom she married just last year, is now under suspicion of having an affair. What's more, his rumored mistress is the well-known TV oh, announcer, Miss Should Mayumi we go Yama. soon? Yes, just about. The question on everyone's minds is how this love triangle will affect. He's got a two on his collar. Is that supposed to indicate which arcana he's supposed Yasuo to be? Inaba. Yasuo Inaba. 
We're assuming, though, he's like a wild card like the previous guy. Perhaps, but I guess I shouldn't assume. He seemed to have had, a, in, quickly in the instructions I saw, a persona assigned to him. Let's see, it's April 11th, Monday. Hey, over here. Afternoon. Looks a bit cloudy. Well, you're more handsome in person than in your photo. Protagonist always has to be handsome. Let me guess, he's gonna go and capture the hearts of every girl at school, like the other one. Welcome to Inaba. I'm Ryotaro Dojima. I'll be looking after you. Let's see, I'm your mother's younger brother, and that about sums it up. Uh, it's been a long time. I don't even know if we've met before. It's nice to meet you. Huh. You probably don't remember, but we've met. I've changed your diapers before, you know? I don't think he wants to know that, though. This here's my daughter. Come on, Nanako. Introduce yourself to your cousin. <laughs> Hello. She blushed. <laughs> what are you so shy for? Ow! <laughs> Well then, let's get going. My car is over there. I'm gonna say this has a... Uh, you got into the car and headed for Dojima's house. Uh, upon first uh, look at the game, it seems to be slightly more detailed. I think. I'm not really sure. But that's what I'm gonna say for now. It looks like yellow's gonna be the color of this game. It was blue in the last one, now everything's gonna be yellow. Must be a small town we're in. Moel? What's a Moel? Motel? I oh, it's a gas station. Inaba Central Shopping District gas station. Hi, welcome to Mole. Mole, I guess. Oh, look, it's with the uh, service. That's a rarity where I am. Can you go to the bathroom by yourself? Yes, I can. Uh -huh. Are you talking to her? No, I knew he was talking to her. I wanted to make a stupid joke. Like he's talking to me, the uh, grown dude. It's in the back, to your left. You know which way is left? The side you don't hold your chopsticks in. Unless she is left-handed. I know. Are you taking a trip? No, we just went to pick him up. He just moved here from the big city. A city, huh? Fill up my car while you're at it. Regular's fine. Right away, sir. Good time as any for a smoke. This is a smoking Are vehicle. You in high school? Does it surprise a city boy to see how little there is out here? There's so little to do, I'm sure you'll get bored fast. You'll either be hanging out with your friends or doing part-time jobs. Speaking of which, we're actually looking for part-time help right now. Give it some thought, why don't you? We don't mind if you're a student. Well, it rumbled there. Oh, I should get back to work. Is that a woman or a dude? It's hard to tell. It's like a woman tries to speak in a masculine voice. Nanako is looking at you. Are you okay? Did you get car sick? Off the top right now, I'm not really fond of her voice. It seems kind of squeaky. I mean, that could be just me though, but it seems like she... I don't know. It's hard to say what I think, but she's spoken mostly in grunts and small sentences, so it's hard to make a judgment. You don't look too good. Could it be exhaustion from the long trip? Now that she mentions it, you feel a little dizzy. Hmm. 
Man, is there, are we actually gonna get to walk in this city? That'd be uh, cool. You arrived at the Dojima residence. For the next year, this place will be your home. Of course, if you're like the previous guy, you might die in the end, so it won't matter. The evening. Probably gonna be limited in our movements for now. Alright, let's have a toast. Looks like they're having some sushi or something. So, your mom and dad are busy as always. They're working overseas, was it? That's a typical plot point. I know, I'm bringing this up right away. But there's nothing more cliché than dead parents is parents working overseas for the Japanese. It seems to be a common occurrence. I know it's only for a year, but getting stuck in a place like this because of your parents? It's rough being a kid. Well, it's just me and Nanako here. So it'll be nice having someone like you around. So long as you're here, you're part of the family. So make yourself at home. I'll do just that. Thank you for your kindness. Yes, sir. Let's go for yes, sir. Uh, right. I knew he wouldn't be happy about that. Are you into military stuff? Well, anyway, let's eat. I figured he'd be. Oh, cell phone already. Oh, who's calling at this hour? Dojima speaking. Mm-hmm. Yeah? I see. So where is it? Uh-huh. All right, I'm on my way. Looks like I made the right choice to skip the booze. Sorry, but I gotta go take care of some business. Go ahead and eat without me. I don't know how late I'll be. Nanako, you help him out, okay? Okay. Nanako, it's raining out. What did you do with the laundry? I already brought it in. Alright. Well, I'm off. If I was to say what her voice sounded like, it sounds like a smaller version of Natsuki. I'm not sure it's the same voice actress, but that's what I'm going to say. Maybe that's why it kind of bugs me. I was never really, really fond of her voice. For this week. Next, let's take a look at the hourly breakdown of tomorrow's weather. With storm clouds moving in from the west, expect rain throughout the day tomorrow in most areas. Wonder how the weather's going to affect the let's game. Eat. Find yourself alone with Nanako. You might want to strike up a conversation. What does your dad do? It must be... Let's ask what he does. Seems like a nice uh, starter. He investigates stuff. Like crime scenes. My dad's a detective. And now for the local news. City Council Secretary, Taro Namatame, is under fire for an alleged relationship with a female reporter. His wife, Enka Ballad sensation Misuzu Hiragi, revealed to this station that she will likely pursue damages. In response, iTelevision has decided to cancel all of announcer Mayumi Yamano's televised appearances. Until allegations of an affair with Mr. Namatame are resolved, she'll remain off the air and out of the public eye. This is boring. At Juness, Every day is Customer Appreciation Day. Come see for yourself and get in touch with our products. Every day is great at your Juness. Every day is great at your Juness. Aren't you going to eat? Living room. You can save the game by using the calendar in the living room. I might do just that. Alright. Let's get our first save going. Yeah, we have all those slots going. And... Yeah! Of course it's going to take a while. It's the first one. 
in the living room. Anything to check out over here? Let's talk to her. Oh, um, Nanako is at a loss. You should leave her alone. All right. You ask Nanako for permission to change the channel to the forecast. Oh, wow, we get an actual forecast for the week. Hmm, rain and clouds, clouds, rain, 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 and then sun on the Sunday. Hmm, rain should stop for a bit tomorrow around noon. However, it may resume over the weekend. All right, weather seems to have something to do with this game now. It's the kitchen! If you have some ingredients, you can make lunch for tomorrow. Aha, uh -huh, I can make my own lunch. Interesting. Hey, look, a fridge. Let's check the fridge. You open the fridge. There's some fried rice. Eat it. Okay. It has no taste at all. Strange. Hmm. What is this? It's too late to leave home today. All right then. Well, we don't live in a dorm this time. We live with a family. Hello. Oh, that's the calendar. We live with a family. A small family. Father and daughter. So I assume up here is where the bedrooms are. Your room. This is the room you're borrowing for from Dojima. Mm-hmm. <laughs> There's a sofa. You are tired from a long trip. We best you went to bed early today. Mm-hmm. <laughs> there is a shelf. There's nothing on the sh new on the shelf. I have my own TV, I think. You are tired from a long trip. Yeah, yeah. Well, is this my bed? Futon. It's a futon. Alright, I guess I should go to sleep, since that's what they keep telling me. The futon has been prepared. The day will end if you decide to go to bed. You may have a good dream. Dream? Well, let's try it out. Not much else I can do. Don't expect much to happen in this part, obviously. You'll be living in this town for one year, starting today. You wonder if everything will be alright. School starts tomorrow. You should hurry to bed. Well, we don't have a dark hour, to my knowledge. Apparently, dreams are the thing now. You know what I think about? We never got to see the character models up close in the previous game. Probably because they weren't as detailed. Which then proves my theory correct that they're a bit more detailed. This is... The area is covered in a thick fog. All you can do right now is proceed forward. Well, I mean, question mark. Well, I like that they give me some control early on in the game. It's not... I don't mind story, but when I have to just sit down and watch, it's not really my favorite thing to do. Granted, I don't even know where I am. Just fog. Some sort of brick road. Do you seek the truth? You heard someone's voice. Hmm. Just advancing so far. If it's the truth you desire, come and find me. The voice came from up ahead. What, is this gonna be my persona I'm gonna awaken right here? In my dream? Well, ho. Oh. You sent someone by beyond this door. You through? I don't see why not, actually. What type of dungeon can I expect in this game, even? Am I already starting a battle? Sounds like battle music. Apparently so. So, you're the one pursuing me. Hmm. Try all you like. Alright then, we have guard, tactics, which we can't use yet. We don't have a persona just yet. No items, and we can't escape. What do I have in skill? Zeo, Cleave, and Rakukaja. Alright then. We already got lightning off the bat. Right, let's just attack for now. Hmm, it seems that you can see a little despite the fog. Let's try skill. SP. How much SP do I. I have 41 SP, so let's use a Zeo skill. See, indeed, you possess an interesting quality. So, I do have a persona, I just haven't awakened it. But, you will not catch me so easily. 
If what you seek is truth, then your search will be even harder. Bewildering fall. Now I absolutely cannot see him. This right area is covered in fog. Well, we could always... What does this one do again? Show more info. Increase an ally's defense for three turns. Well, at least they tell me how many turns this time. Let's do zeal, because... That shouldn't miss. Attack won't work. Everyone sees what they want to. And the fog only deepens. Uh-huh. Will we meet again? At a place other than here? Hmm, I look forward to it. You are losing consciousness. And now we are on the 12th of April. I like how fast it went to the change of dates. It was uh, much slower in the other game. You can hear someone's voice. Brett? Well, it's almost time to get up. I, d I didn't expect voiceover. All she said was breakfast. You feel like you had a nightmare. What could it have been about? We're starting school today. You should head to the living room for now. Eggs, bacon, and Good toast. Morning. Okay. Let's eat. Uh, did your father go to did you do the cook do you do the cooking? I can toast bread and cook sunny side up eggs in the morning. Dad can't cook, so I buy dinner. You're starting school today, right? My school's on the way, so let's go together. Nanako seems somewhat restless. You decide to hit the school with Nanako. It's raining out there, I can hear it. Where the weather forecast is ever wrong, like in real life. Where it's always wrong. School zone. Samegawa Flood Pet Plain. I guess they're prone to floods and mudslides here. You keep going straight from here. My school's this way. Bye. How my first day will be at school. School zone, intersection of, in front of the school. Does that have a name? Oh, I assume he's gonna be one of my teammates. Now he's pained. That looks painful. You should leave him be. Okay. How rude was that? You should just leave him be. Don't even bother asking if he's okay. Yeah, I see him on the box, so he's one of my teammates. Let's see, I can't count. One... You arrived at the main gates of Yasogami High School. Let's see, I can count. One, two, three, four, five, six teammates. Seven including me. You arrived at... Oh yeah, I read that. What kind of student life awaits you here? That's what we'll find out. It's also a bonus disc included. It's like music or something. Yeah. Talk about bad luck. The homeroom teacher here is Morooka, isn't it? Yeah, it's King Moron, all right. We get to enjoy his long ass sermons every day for a whole year. Hey, you guys, I heard there's going to be a transfer student from the city in this class. Huh? Really? A guy or a girl? There's two of our other teammates. A transfer student from the city. Just like you, huh, Yosuke? And they always seem to have uh, different attire from the normal school uniform. Huh? You look dead today. Yeah, um, I don't want to talk about it. What's with him? Who knows? 
is such a rundown school compared to GekkoCon. All right, shut your trap. Holy crap, he's ugly. Big ass teeth. Comb over. I'm Kinshiro Moraoka, your homeroom teacher from today forward. First things first. Just because it's spring doesn't mean you can swoon over each other like love struck baboons. Long as I'm around, you students are gonna be pure as the driven snow. Now I hate wasting my time, but I'd better introduce this transfer student. This sad sack's been thrown from the big city out to the middle of nowhere like yesterday's garbage. And he's just as much of a loser here as he was there. So you girls better not get any ideas about hitting on him. Are you sure you're not projecting, Mr. Moruka? Tell him your name, kid, and make it quick. Nice to meet you all. You calling me a loser? <laughs> yeah, let's go with that. Your courage has increased. Nice. Right off the bat. Huh. That's it. You're on my shit list. Effective immediately. Probably the best list to be on with you. Your attitude sucks already. I hate this guy as of now. I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to. Now listen up! This town is miles away from your big city of perverts and assholes in more ways than one. You'd better not even think of getting involved with the girls here, let alone abusing them. But what do I know? It's not like the old days. Even here, kids grow up so damn fast. Every time I turn my back, you're fooling around on those damn phones, checking your life journals and your my places. On the series of tubes known as the internets. Mr. Moruka goes on and on. Uh, excuse me, is it okay if the transfer student sits here? Huh? Yeah, sure. You hear that? Your seat's over there. So hurry up and sit down already. So do these guys already have powers or not? They all know each other. Or are they all going to awaken slowly? He's the worst, huh? Rotten luck for you to get stuck in this class. Well, we'll just have to hang in there for a year. You can hear people around you talking about you. Sucks to be the transfer student, ending up in King Moron's class on the first morning here. Let me guess, at least one female student will say, But he's so good looking! Yeah, he won't think twice about suspending you if you get on his bad side. Then again, we're all in the same boat. Shut your traps! I'm taking roll, and I damn well expect you to respond in an orderly manner. Your life at this new school has begun. Will you be able to fit in here? Oh, that was an interesting intro. After school. We meet a hard-ass teacher. It's quiet. That's all for today. Normal lectures will start tomorrow. Attention all teachers. Please report immediately to the faculty office for a brief staff meeting. All students must return to their classrooms and are not to leave the school until further notice. Ugh. You heard the announcement. Don't go anywhere until you hear otherwise. He's seriously getting on my nerves. Did something happen? Don't those sirens sound really close? Ah, I can't see a damn thing. Freaking fog. Yeah, like every time it rains lately, it gets all foggy. Hey, did you hear? I hear that paparazzi's looking all over for that announcer. Oh uh, yeah, you mean Mayumi Yamano, right? I heard some guy spotted her at the shopping district. Actually, I heard that. Are you serious? These guys' names keep changing. Hey, hey Yukiko-san. Mind if I ask you something? Is it true that announcer staying at your family's inn? I can't discuss such things. 
She must be the rich kid. Yeah, I guess not. <sighs> Sheesh, how much longer is this gonna take? There's no telling. <sighs> I should have left before the announcement came on. By the way, did you try what I told you the other day? You know, that thing about rainy nights. Oh. No, not yet. Sorry. Oh, that's okay. Well, it's just... I heard a guy in the class next door yell something like, My soulmate is Yamano, the announcer. Attention, all students. There has been an incident inside the school district. Police officers have been dispatched around the school zone. Please stay calm and contact your parents or guardians as soon as possible and quickly leave the school grounds. Do not disturb the police officers. Head directly home. I repeat. Incident? What, something actually happened? Come on, let's go take a look. Now that was Yukari. Well, not really, but you know what I mean. Hey, are you going home by yourself? Why don't you come with us? Oh, nearly forgot. I'm Chie Satonaka. You know I sit next to you, right? Uh, of course. Well, nice to meet you. Uh, this is Yukiko Amagi. Oh, nice to meet you. I'm sorry that this is so sudden. Come on, don't apologize like that. It makes me look like I've got no upbringing. I just wanted to ask some stuff. Really, that's all. Uh, um, Miss Satanaka. This was really awesome. Like, the way they moved was just amazing to see. And... I'm really sorry. It was an accident. Please just have mercy until my next paycheck. See ya. Thanks. Stop right there. What did you do to my DVD? Ah! Why is he always holding his crotch? I can't believe this. It is completely cracked. My trial of the dragon. I think mine's cracked too. Critical hit to the net. Okay, is this is gonna be a running joke of nut shots. I'm not really looking forward to that. That's kind of cheap humor, I find. Looks like that's his hurt pose too. Uh, are you all right? Oh, you could go, son. Are you worried about me? He's fine, Yukiko. Let's ditch him and go home. He looks like he's in a lot of pain. We should leave him be. Um, okay. Man, this guy's a jerk compared to the other guy. The other one would have been helping everyone around him. This guy's like, eh, leave him be. Don't do anything. I'm here holding his crotch. Now, who's this guy? You're Yuki, right? Y you wanna go hang out somewhere? What a What's with these faces in this game? Seriously, this guy's got gigantic pupils. What? Who, who are you? What's up with him? What school's he from? Never mind that. He's going for Yukiko-san? Man, you'd think he'd at least wait until she's alone to make his move. I bet you a can of tap he gets knocked out. No bet. Haven't you heard how difficult the Amagi challenge is? Uh, so, uh, are you coming or not? I, I'm not going. Fine! Well, what did he want from me? What did he want? Obviously, he was asking you out on a date. Huh? Really? You really had no clue? Shh. <laughs> But then again, that was way over the top. I mean, it was creepy how he called you Yuki all of a sudden. 
Yo, Yukiko-san. Turned down another lovelorn fool, huh? Man, you're cruel. You got me the same way last year. I don't recall doing that. Well, are you serious? So then you want to hang out sometime? I'd rather not. That'll teach me to get my hopes up. Anyways, you two better not pick on the transfer student too much. We're just curious is all. Um, I'm sorry for dragging you into this. Come on, let's go. Everybody is staring. So how are we going to group together for the dungeon anyways? We know it happens midnight on a TV on a rainy day. That's Oh, that's where the weather comes in. I just realized now. Oh, so you came here because of your parents' job? <laughs> I thought it was something way more serious. There really is nothing here, huh? Well, that is what makes it nice, but there's nothing much we can show to people from outside. Oh, though there is something from Mount Yasagami. I, I think our dyed clothes or... Uh, pottery or something is kind of famous. Oh, wait, there's the Amagi Inn. Yukiko's family runs it. It's the pride of Inaba. Huh? It's just an old inn. Oh, no way. It's been in all sort of magazines as a hidden treasure. It's a great inn. It's been going for generations, and Yukiko here is going to take over someday. The inn actually attracts a lot of visitors to Inaba. It pretty much keeps this town going. I don't think that's entirely true. So tell me, you think Yukiko's cute, huh? Uh, I think so, yeah. How about that? <laughs> I knew it. Come on, don't start this again. She's really popular at school, but she's never had a boyfriend. Kind of weird, huh? Come on, stop it. Y you shouldn't believe that, okay? It's not true that I'm popular or that I've never had a boyfriend. Wait, no, no, no. What I meant to say was I, I don't need a boyfriend. Jeez, GA. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. This is our chance to talk to somebody from the big city, and you barely said a word. Hey, what's that? So that high schooler left school early, and as she came down this street... Wow, who could imagine that hanging from an antenna? I wanted to see it too. Oh, you got here too late. The police and fire department took it down just a moment ago. Well, I think it's terrifying. I can't believe a dead body showed up around here. Wait, what did she just say? A dead body? Well, 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 look who's investigating. Hey, what are you doing here? Uh, did something happen? Well, you could say that. That damn principal. We told him not to let them through here. You know this guy? I'm Detective Dojima, his guardian. Uh, well, how should I say this? I hope you get along with him. But you three really ought to stop wandering around and head straight home. Young detective is puking, apparently. Can't take the, uh, graphic details? Adachi, how long are you gonna act like a rookie? You wanna be sent back to the central office? I'm sorry. <clears throat> oh, go wash your face. We're gonna go around and gather information.
Was this what that announcement was about? What do they mean it was hanging from the antenna? Hey, Yukiko, why don't we go to Juness some other time? Good idea. All right, then, we're taking off. Starting tomorrow, neighbor. Let's do our best. Two of them left. Decided to head straight home. Now we're gonna go to evening, and I probably won't be allowed out due to investigations. Seems to be close to the area. I wonder if Dad's not coming home again tonight. Our top story this evening concerns a bizarre case in a quiet suburb. Around noon today, a woman was found dead near the Samegawa River in Inaba. The school's always being shown on TV. Could this be the incident you heard about? The deceased has been identified as Miss Mayumi Yamano, a 27-year-old announcer at the local television station. What a twist! The initial results of the Inaba Police Department's investigation have revealed... Uh, the, the Inaba Police Department! That's where Dad works! <sighs> Are you worried about him? Let's ask. Uh-uh. It's his job, so things like this happen. The body was found hanging from a large television antenna atop a local resident's roof. Authorities are uncertain as to why the body was in such a state. With the cause of death also uncertain, police continue to investigate whether the death is an accident or a homicide. A thick fog common to the area has slowed their progress, and plans to fully canvas the area are delayed until tomorrow. Seems that the local TV station's announcer was found dead near the Yosogami High School campus. The announcer, Mayumi Yamano, her affair with the local councilman's secretary had been on the news just the other day. They found her on the roof? That's scary. <gasps> oh, it's Juness. At Juness, every day is customer appreciation day. Come see for yourself and get in touch with our products. That's the third time that store has been mentioned, so it must play something. Other, Well, I say I might be able to go shop there. That's probably what it's telling me. And Akko is looking at you expectantly. Uh, your Junez. You memorized it already? <laughs> I'm the best one in my class. And Akko sings a song to herself over and over again. Seems that she's forgotten all about the scary story. Oh, music's different, it seems. All right, let's check the forecast. Ooh, look, sun in the days after Saturday, apparently. Hmm. Anything else here? What's in the fridge today? Nothing. Nothing catches my eye. I have no ingredients. Um... Yeah, you know what? Since I have a save here, let's save it up again. And what I shall do, I guess, is... Save it, and I'll end the part right now. Just because I have a save, since there's going to be a lot of story going on. Do I have a menu even yet? No, I don't have a menu. Well, either way, um, next time we'll continue on and find out what exactly we're going to do, because we haven't really gotten anywhere just yet. Uh, I'm not blaming the... I mean, at least we've been able to do stuff. Yeah, but it's going a bit slower on the story. We know we don't really know. We don't have a persona yet. We don't really know what's going to happen, other than it involves TV, obviously. And I'll see you next time. So long.